Hi there, welcome to my channel. So in today's video, I'll be discussing about a new feature that has been added to the cloud formation, that is IAC generator, that is infrastructure as a code generator. So basically it will help you to generate the cloud formation template of the existing resources that has been spent. So it is like a quite handy tool that is being added. So those who are like or joining the organization and then organization, they are already being resources being spinned up. So there is no being, uh, templates are there. So we can generate the templates and we can just move on the resources, spin up the resources to some other region. So it's it's quite a handy uh, feature that is being added to the cloud formation. So this new feature is being added. So it can be utilized with the cloud formation template as well as the AWS CDK. And that is a cloud development kit. We can use it for that existing resources. Uh, that are being managed outside the cloud formation template. So we can use the generated templates and apps also to import the resources in the cloud formation. Or we can, if you want to replicate, as I said, we want to replicate or spin up the new similar resources in different region or in different account, we can also do that. So we can also onboard to infrastructure as a code in minutes. So there is no manual effort required to create the template from scratch. So we can also uh, benefit of like on automation and safety and scalability of the workloads can be done using this new feature. So I will just uh, jump onto the console. So I will show you what exactly it is doing. So before going into the details, I will just like to share. Okay, so you can see this is a new feature that is being added to the cloud formation. And it's been recently added on 5th of Feb, 2024. So like you can see, you can generate templates for work. 500 resource type. So basically they have given you the resource type list, so it will basically cover most of the resources. If you see the list, I will show you the detail, what are the resource types that have been covered up. And you can, that's just an example given over here. Based upon the resources you can select such as the policies, suppose some S3 bucket is there, certain policies are being there, and certain uh, access has been defined, so that also can be generated through this template. So we can also, we can basically do a scan on the resources. It will then after doing a scan, it will show you the list of resources that you can uh, generate a template for. So there is a user guide and blog post is also there and it is available in the regions in which the cloud formation is available. So I'll just show you over here. So start your account. These are a few steps given over here. Create a template either from the scratch or by using the template or existing stack as a starting point. Add the scanned resources. We can add resource wizards. Then in the last, it is the import. So if you want to check like a few things like quotas and all, maximum number of resources that can be processed in an account scan and I think we, I can show you over here. So there is a list of resource types that are supported in, by this IAC generator. So you can see it's a huge list. So most of them is covered up. EC2, VPC, network related things, uh, EKS, ECS, cache, load balancer. So everything, almost everything is there. Now, uh, let me go back to the cloud formation. So this is our console. So I am in the cloud formation. So these few stacks have been deletion in progress. So this is the, you can see IAC generator new. If you click on this, you can see the details about it. Make it easy to generate the infrastructure as code. Uh, you can have the configuration files, templates from resources in your account. Now, first thing that we have to scan. Second, create cloud formation template. Third, we can import this to a cloud formation or we can create a CDK app. 
So you can see over here, there is a start scan. Uh, it will take some time, like about five to 10 minutes. Uh, it depends upon the number of resources you're having. So you can see resources scanned, 580. So you can just check the timestamp over here and based upon that, if it is not a recent scan, you can just click on the start a new scan. So just nothing is there. Once you click on the start new scan, it will just scan the resources that you're having. Then once you scan that resources, you will just go to the create template. So you can see over here, you have the option update the template from or for an existing stack or start a new template. So I'm just giving my demo template that I want to create it. And deletion policy is there that we can specify resource behavior. It should be retain, update policy, retain. So you can just uh, go through these details in my video on cloud formation. Then you can see over here, these are the scanned resources. You can see these are one, two, three, four, five, so on. So all my resources are being scanned over here. It's a huge list. So you can just filter it out. You can see the subnets are coming up. Uh, you can see security groups are coming up. You can see root, root 53, EC2, code artifact. So everything is there. So let me just uh, filter it out with S3. So resource type, you can also have storage lens, bucket type, uh, bucket policy. So I'm just choosing bucket type is equal to S3. So let's say, uh, you can see these are the resources. You can see the no, it's mentioned over here. It's not managed by the stack. So let's say if I'm choosing over here, let's say I'm choosing this AWS Lambda and then you need to click you can see bucket name, resource type, when you click next. Okay, so they are not related any resources. What I will do, I will just choose something else. So I can show you some things. Let me search again over here, S3. I'm just choosing a basic example. So let's say I'm choosing this, my website over here. And then there is Lex, Elastic Beanstalk and lots of things are there. So we can go through those also. So you can see it is having this uh, caching policy and AWS CloudFront distribution that is being attached to my bucket. So these resources are being added, related resources are being there. So next. So you can see my demo template. These are the resources. Create a template. So you can see the template has been created. So this is the template that has been created. So if you want the same thing need to be run into some other region, you can just, so there are some additional, uh, some optional properties that were being not being included. So you can just skip this. Then you can just click on import to stack or if you want uh, AWS CDK, you can have that. CDK migrate my demo template and the language, you can have the type generated. Now, if you go to the resources, you can see it is showing you the resources that are being uh, generated to regenerate the template if you want to add it. So uh, we can also track like if any, some changes were there at the template, existing template. So that's why this uh, cloud formation like, you know, uh, drift is, we can have it. So you can also have a look into my uh, video on cloud formation drift. So in which we can just find out the difference between the existing template and what are the new resources or what are the changes being done. So it will only apply those changes. And so that's all. You can also download the XAML or the JSON, whichever you want. 
And if you want to import the stack, you can also import. So you can see it is going to this uh, template URL. It will go to the uh, specify the stack name and this is, it will form a S3 bucket and it, your template will be stored in this location. So you can just put some name, my sample stack for S3 and then click next, next. So you can see over here if any changes are being made. Okay, that's it. Next. And then you can import the resources if you want it. So this is just a, a demo I have shown you how you can import the resources and how you can create the template. And you can just see over here the list of templates that are being created. You can just visit any time and just you can get the file. And if you want to edit something, you can edit also anytime. If we have that one settings like the deletion policy or retain, you can just define those things. I hope you get an idea about this new feature that is being added to the uh, cloud formation IAC generator. It's quite handy tool, just you can, you know, uh, whatever the resources that are being uh, spend in your account so you can just have a track you can generate the template for them and just keep a track or keep a record of everything so that's all from my side so please do like share and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching